John. All right, Mike, and this cold weather is dangerous, and in short order, it can be deadly for anyone unprotected outside. Omaha police, in fact, investigating a possible case of exposure in one man's death. As Chase Moffitt explains, it highlights the need for overall safety and awareness in dealing with frigid temperatures. Police tape off a section of commercial parking lot near 140th and Industrial Road this morning. An investigation underway after officers received a call of a dead body. Police identified him as 49-year-old John Nielsen. The cold believed to have played a factor in the death, according to investigators. It's a reminder of just how serious and deadly cold weather can be if we're not prepared for it. Ask Kevin Dana, filling up his truck, prepared to tackle a day of work outside. Just layer up, um, keep the gloves, hats, a uh, couple coats, a bunch of socks. Inside the open door mission, the need continues to grow. This is one of the overflow rooms for overnight stays. Staff said the need is up 18%, which means all the safe shelter beds have been accounted for. Some will sleep on these mats on the floor again tonight. Not helping. The shelter was full during a warmer than usual fall. This time of year, probably all the way until March, we usually don't have a break except for maybe a day or two of nice weather. Uh, but that's still, there's too much cold and yuck out there during that time. I'm going to get two of these. Inside the Walmart off 120th and L Street, Angela Gillespie with the Salvation Army works alongside a manager of the store, helping to pick out new winter coats, all thanks to an anonymous donation of $1,000. This is so amazing to be able to take this donation and, and purchase the items that are in most need. Um, seeing those people out there in this weather, it's so cold and the need is so great. We're live here at the Salvation Army, 108th and Old Mill. They're getting ready for another round of winter night watch tonight. They have some of the food ready. They'll have two trucks, four people in each truck, and also those coats. They will be going out tonight as well, again, thanks to that anonymous donor. Reporting live with photographer Nathan Jank, I'm Chase Moffitt, WWT 6 News.